All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Reincarnated as a Slime, season three, episode twenty-four, the finale of the season. Um, I have actually just seen because I got a little email alert about it. Um, <laughs> that um, season four and a movie have been announced. Damn. Um, so yeah, whenever that movie comes out on uh, digital in like two years' time, probably I'll be reacting to that on the channel assuming it's not like a recap movie or something like that but um the first movie was like an actual movie which i also reacted to on the channel if you want to go back and watch that but yeah um that's great to hear obviously so yeah last episode was uh them kind of showing off the labyrinth um and all the floors it's it's it still needs a little bit of work uh some things were added without rimaru's kind of oversight so they're going to be patched in the next update but um, yeah, it was a funny episode. We got to see how the labyrinth is working. <laughs> I love the part where it like showed uh, Veldora and just the fact that he's going to be very bored down in the labyrinth um, because it's going to take people a long time to get to him if they can even reach him um, because they're going to be need to be like powerful people. Um, but yeah, we got to see some of the brutality that like annoying dude got his head chopped off because he wasn't following the rules. Kind of funny, kind of brutal, but hey ho. A good explanation of what's going to happen to you in the labyrinth if you don't follow the rules. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this final episode. We're going to see what's going to happen here. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's get into this episode right now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, shit, sure. okay. Is this the dude that set up, like, the whole thing? A, the, a duke? Okay. He's the one trying to make them look bad? How about I kill y'all? Take this fucking money. Kingdom of Gaston. This is definitely the dude that set this show up. Yeah? How about you trust a different currency? So are they referring to the fact that um, Elf Lady gave them money? Is that currency no good? Yeah. Of course. Of course it's these guys pulling the strings again. Oh, they got the money? <laughs> nice. Okay, so the, the money that they, they were given by Elf Lady was actual Dwarven. <laughs> you better relax. Yeah, just a whole flock of reporters. That's funny. Why is that such a shock? They are obviously real dwarven coins. <laughs> They're using orbs as cameras. I love that. And we've still got a whole load of dwarven coins left over. Good. That is the reaction we should be getting. Oh. Damn. Yeah, y'all being kind of racist. Fuck off. <laughs> Damn. Brutal. Yeah, especially you. You get out of there. True. Yo, <laughs> y'all miss now. Oh my god. Oh, this guy really fucked up his plan. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, he's actually fucked up his whole plan. Probably fucked up his whole life too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Diablo. And I'll kindly ask you all to get out of this damn country. Oh, a train. Is that? Oh, it's a model train. <laughs> yeah, we can find better merchants. One that, one that respects a nation of monsters. <laughs> Everybody in on the plan. Yeah, the mastermind. I guess the the little girl. She's the one pulling the strings in the family. I mean, she's already been here, right? 
A meeting? Oh my god. Meeting episode. <laughs> of what? Oh, what? No, of course, people have never seen this before. <laughs> That's true, actually. This is a big deal that he's just invented. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't seem to mind. Can do. Yo, nice, okay. A magic train, wow. I'm really proud to bring this country into the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, whatever the whatever the Empress says goes. Who this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's just going to be a big hole through the bottom of it. <laughs> Benny Maru, of course. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh, she, she really likes this dude. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I lack the education. Fair enough. Oh. Look at this train. That looks fucking sick. <laughs> looks like a monster. Ah, uh, this is like the plan for the future. That'd be dope. This is so cool. <laughs> Thanks to Diablo and his scary ways. I mean, shit, their country's going great. That helps uh, a nation of, mon nation of monsters get on people's good side as well, offering work to other nations as well. Yeah, this shit going to be fast as hell. And this is going to be the only nation that has a train for now. All the big big figures here is crazy. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. Okay, that's a big deal. <laughs> what do you want, Veldora? <laughs> oh, I knew this guy was going to be bored. That means more stronger people are going to come over. And of course, probably nobody is going to be able to do that because of Eldora. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Wow, that's a big deal. <laughs> Incorporating this dungeon into adventurer cards is crazy. The monopoly they're going to have on other nations is wild. Ah, okay. Again, they're going to have an, a monopoly on hunt, monster hunting jobs as well. Wow. That makes sense, yeah. For what? Okay. So basically they want people to not rely on the fact that Rimuru's dungeon healing is crazy. And she wants people to understand that you can get hurt and you will feel the pain in the dungeon. That will help you grow. <laughs> Beldora may have to fight some holy knights. Pseudonym Dono. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can whip up a building, sure. Oh yeah, these freaking merchants. Okay. 
<laughs> Walk your ass out of this country, boy. Yeah, she was here. Eating all the food and being around Rumuru Rum and his important conversations. Greed. Damn. <laughs> I love the influence that Tempest has had over these other countries, like making them better as well. Mm. The focus on their eyes right there. Yeah, right? God, there are so many important people here. Jesus. Everybody, get to the hot springs. <laughs> Yuki is an interesting chap because he play he plays both sides in this story. Yep. Oh, okay. Damn. Mm, I wonder what Rimuru and uh, Yuki's uh, relationship is going to be like going forward. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, don't jump to conclusions. Even though it, what he's saying is true. We know that. He doesn't know that. For sure. That dragon's dope as hell. Hot springs. Mm, gotta be careful of that guy. Oh. Oh. The council that he says he doesn't need to join. Damn. I think anyway. To be continued. Yes. Right. So that was the final episode of season four. Three, th season three of uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. A uh, good episode. Uh, it makes me look forward to season four and the movie. Probably get season four before the movie. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, good episode. Final meeting episode. Obviously, we ended off the uh, season with a meeting, but it was interesting. A lot of good things came of it and a lot of growth, prosperity, and cool shit to look forward to in the future, basically. Um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. I think mean, season four, um, well, it's it's stated that it's probably going to happen like a month after the festival, as the fact that they received a letter. I don't know, but um, yeah, we'll see what big things are going to happen in this month. Um, love the idea of this like train as well. It looks dope as hell. It looks like a monster, which is fitting from the Nation of Monsters. Um, but yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me this season. I hope you'll stick around for the, uh, the movie and the next season reaction on my channel. You can expect that. So, uh, yeah, subscribe for that. And other anime reactions coming in the fall season as well. Um, but, yeah, have a nice rest of your day, guys, and peace out.